hello again. I'm still waiting for my next meeting and I have a few more moments. We'll move on to the second Psalm. Now I need to tell you that each book in Psalm is a poem. It's a song. It's a separate entity. The book of Psalms does not have chapters, but we say divisions or simply a Psalm. So here we are at the second Psalm. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh and the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore pleasure. Pardon me, in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee a heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and ye perish from the way, when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. I have read unto you the second psalm. Now, while I'm waiting for this meeting, it seems like the flies and the gnats have tried to get inside the vehicle with me. Anyway, let everything that has breath praise the Lord so the flies and the gnats can praise the Lord too. I got the name The Church Lady when I was pledging in 1987. I am a member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, as you can probably see by my pink and green bow tie. I have lots of pink and green items in my closet, but it's a name, it's a nickname that I have never really outgrown. And it's an earnest name because when I was in college, I was one of the few people, if not the only one, who went through the dorms and the campus apartments on Sundays to wake everybody up for Sunday school. Let's get ready to go and worship. So I thank you for tuning in to this YouTube channel. I'm going to bring you some motivation every day. I am in a place in my life where I need constant motivation. I am working my way through the grieving process. We are at 19 months since the tragic death of my then 21-year-old son, Mr. Toivo Cody Antaka, would be 23 years old today. So I always think of him on a daily basis and I seek to motivate and encourage everyone else who is in a slump of any type. And I'm working my way through some slumps myself and I know that I can help you work your way through some slumps as well. God bless you. I'm praying for you. Thank you very much.